Since you are watching this video, you've likely already decided that you want help from a professional independent real estate agent to help guide you through the new construction home buying journey. But how do you find them and what questions should you ask them to make sure that they're knowledgeable and experienced? That's what we're talking about today. Hi, Jessica here with the Janung team and Real Broker. First, we need to define the difference between your typical real estate agent and your new construction specialist agent. Uh, most agents do not sell very many new construction homes, but if a client comes to them wanting to buy a new home, they will certainly do their best to help. And to be clear, any agent helping you through the process is better than no agent and just relying on the sales rep that works for the builder to give you a good experience and negotiate a fair deal on your behalf. The builder's agent responsibility is to the builder. So again, any independent agent is better than none. But if you choose an agent that is not very experienced in selling new homes and is not working in these new home communities regularly, they are not gonna be able to help you that much. It's a niche segment of the real estate market. Lots of agents mean well, but they don't really understand how the process works and how to really provide value for new construction buyers. The new build home buying process is much different than buying a resale home and there is a lot to know. It's very common for these agents agents that are not knowledgeable and experienced in new construction home sales to take a step back after you go under contract on your new home and pass you off to the builder rep and their process. This is not because they intentionally mean to abandon you. They just don't know what to do and some agents think that their job ends at helping you find the home. There is not much training out there for agents looking to get educated on how to sell new construction homes. There is a lot of training for agents on how to market for listings and how to work with buyers on resale home searches, but not so much for new construction. So this is why you need to find an agent who regularly sells new homes. We'll discuss how you find these agents and then we'll discuss how to interview them and what questions to ask. So where can you find them? New construction sales data by agents is not typically recorded in the MLS like resale homes. Resale agent research, it's pretty easy. You can just go on Zillow and you can look up an agent and it will show you the resale homes that they've sold because Zillow gets this information from the MLS. But since new home sales are not typically recorded in the MLS, um, the agent results on these sites are not going to include their new home sales. So this doesn't help us. Here are some other strategies. Look for agents who create a lot of educational content online for the area that you're considering moving to. This could be YouTube, my favorite, Instagram, Facebook, even TikTok, which I haven't ventured on. Start with Google. Type in the area that you're searching for and click on the video tab. Let's try it. Uh, Murrieta, new construction. <laughs> oh look, there I am. <laughs> this will show you agents that are making new construction videos like touring model homes and teaching you about the process of buying a new home. Jot their name down because you are gonna have to dig a little bit deeper. Any agent can post videos online of model home tours, but does that mean that they've assisted many clients from start to finish on a new build home? No, it does not. Let's dig deeper. You could search hashtags on Instagram for the cities and the communities that you're considering and then tack on new construction or new build. On social media, these agents you are finding are ideally posting some stories and photos about their clients buying new construction homes. You know, like those just sold posts with the keys or the champagne, confetti, sure. <laughs> okay, jot their name down. My last suggestion is to ask on social media for a recommendation. Every city has a big Facebook page and I see people looking for realtor recommendations all the time. In our area, like the main Facebook groups are like Murrieta Talk and Temecula Talk, and there are a few others too. Here is how you should phrase your request. I'm looking for an agent to help me buy a new construction home who specializes in new home sales. I'm only looking for recommendations from people who have personally used that agent to buy a new construction home and see if there is an agent or two that multiple people recommend. Once you have a couple promising agent options, go ahead and check out their online reviews on sites like Google My Business. The Google reviews are probably the best place to check out agent reviews because my understanding is that sites like Zillow only allow you to leave a review if you have a recorded sale to link your name and profile to. So if the property didn't record in the MLS, like most new construction, um, the new construction buyers will not be able to leave a review. 
but Google doesn't link reviews to the address of a sale, so it's your best bet. See if a good amount of the reviews are coming from new construction buyers and what their experience has been with that agent. If you need some help finding a new construction specialist in your area, I have a network of agents like myself in many major metro areas throughout the country that I would be happy to introduce you to. If I don't have one for your particular market, I'm happy to research and find one for you. I know what to look for and I'm always working on expanding my network of excellent referral agents. If you are searching in my area, myself or an agent on my team would be happy to help you, of course, and we love to hear from you. Once you have a couple of good agent options, the next step is to reach out to them and schedule a Zoom meeting or a phone call. The most important thing to find out is how many new homes do they sell in a typical month? You're gonna have to ask them because you can't find this info on the internet, like I said. Uh, my opinion is they need to at least be selling one to two new homes every month. So at least 15 to 20 a year is a requirement in my mind. If your agent is not regularly selling at least 15 to 20 new homes per year, um, they might not be the best option. The more new homes an agent sells, the more in the loop they will be on the available communities, the more relationships they will have with the sales reps, and the more knowledge they will have about the process. They will also know what issues can arise from their experience and can advise on how to avoid them or how to navigate you through them. I've created a downloadable checklist of questions to ask your new construction agent. There is a link down below in the description and it's available for immediate download. Here are some of the questions. How many new construction homes do you sell in a typical year? As I mentioned before, I recommend approximately at least 15 to 20, about one to two per month for them to have a good grasp on the market and the available options to you and the process. Um, number two, how long have you been selling new homes? I think they need to have at least a few years experience of selling new homes. Number three, do you have relationships with builder sales reps? This one has been key for my business because the new construction sales reps, they are gonna reach out to the agents that are bringing them a lot of clients. So especially when they have um, cancellations, when they have new promotions and incentives, when they have quick move-ins, they're always um, often um, you know, wanting to move particular homes quickly. So they'll put you know, really nice incentives on those. Um, your agents that are working in new construction are gonna get that information first a lot of the time. Number four, what kind of incentives are you seeing? Your new construction specialist should have a ballpark idea for most of the communities in the area. How much are they offering for closing costs? Are they negotiable on the asking price? Are they offering design center credits? Do they have a lot of inventory uh, that they're trying to sell through? That, that is a sign that they're gonna be more negotiable. Or on the flip side of that, do they have a long wait list and you don't even have a chance at getting one of those homes in there? Um, your agent needs to know these things. Number five, will you be attending my walkthroughs with me? The answer should be yes. The walkthroughs are very important, especially your final new home orientation walkthrough. It's important that your agent and another eye be there to see any uh, repairs or corrections that need to be made. So that's a big one. Can you help me schedule an independent home inspection? Side note on this one, and this is another video that I'll be making very soon, so I'm not gonna go too deep on this, but about 90% of my new construction clients lately do decide to have a home inspection. And on average, the home inspectors are finding 10 to 15 items that need repair. So make sure that you get the home inspection. These are just a few of the questions and the full list is available on the downloadable PDF. Um, next month, I will be hosting a live webinar titled seven ways to save money on a new construction home. It's free and there will be a link down below in the description if you want to sign up to be notified when we get that scheduled. And thanks as always for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye.